Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of PvZ2 Eclipse. Last time we made some more progress in the Frostbite Caves and also did a fun little war party. We unlocked the Dusk Lobber in the process. And before we start this episode, I wanted to look at this in the Almanac because this is a very confusing plant to me. Yeah, so there's Shadow Plants, but we don't have the Moonflower yet, so we can't really power them up. But, uh, it can't be eaten, which is interesting, but I know it can be, uh, destroyed. Um, and it's also immune to frost too for some reason. I don't know why they had thrown that in there. But I mean, I mean, it's good for this world, right? So uh, another thing I wanted to tell you guys before we start this level is that I did I try this level like several times. And I was gonna like make it a part of this episode, but like there was a lot of failed attempts because this level is quite confusing to me. Burr, I'm running low on antifreeze. Can you break some ice blocks for me so I can make some more? I need to warm myself up. Sorry. I don't know how a robot shivers and sneezes. So yeah, this level is quite confusing. So we need to thaw out a certain amount of ice blocks or destroy them, whatever. Uh, and honestly, they give us all these different plants. I think there's like five different plants we get. I have no idea where any of them should be placed. This level is quite confusing. But my best guess is that I have to keep these little hunter guys alive. For as long as possible so they like throw their snowballs and stuff at them. And eventually... Okay, then here's what we'll do. Send you back. Now let's get a dust clobber. Uh, these guys are really tough to place because uh, there's going to be barrel rollers later that completely ruin my plans. Now let's put a fire feature on the bottom. He's going to be like our main supply of getting the ice blocks unthawed. I just don't know what to do. Like, this is a very, uh... This is a very strange level, to say the least. So at least we're getting, like, some ice blocks going right now. And I think I'm gonna put the dust slobbers in front here. I'm gonna have, like, a column of walnuts. And then I just have to save the jalapenos for, like, when these guys pile up on the very top. I really need want more um what is it? Oh, yeah. I wanna keep these hunters I wanna like pile the hunters up essentially. I guess we'll put the dust lobbers in front. Like I I'm so confused about what I'm supposed to do this level. I just want more fire pea shooters, you know, so I can thaw these guys out faster. And also deal damage to the zombies. Let's get another walnut down. Jalapeno, all that mess there. I mean, we're getting a few ice blocks to go in. I'm. Again, I just don't understand what I'm supposed to do with these barrel guys. There we go, now I got a fire feature in every lane. Kinda got our ice farm going. So yeah, they throw snowballs past the dust lobbers, they just ignore them entirely. So that allows the fire features to quickly melt out the walnuts. I mean, so far the level's going, I mean, good, I guess. I mean, the main problem, though, is that, like, the spring beans are, like, useless. I don't know what the spring beans are for. Like, we just need more jalapenos. Also, the whole way the, um... The whole way the, like, barrel guys move is kind of strange. 
Okay, let's play it. Another 5 PU shooter up here. I just don't know what they want me to do with the, the, the spring beams. They're... It's a mystery. I wish they would just give me more dust clobbers or jalapenos. I am a bit concerned though because I'm not... I'm not getting all the ice blocks that I want made. Need more hunters to show up. Uh, let's replace that bottom walnut there. And it's all up in you this now. Ideally, we want some jalapenos like saved up. There we go, we got a few things of ice down there. Maybe I the idea is to like keep one hunter like off screen so he doesn't get killed. In fact, hey, I'm gonna get rid of this dust lava on the bottom. I feel like that's not being helpful. Am I gonna get eight more? I don't know. Eight more ice blocks. Just throw out the spring beans. Come on, guys, I need more ice! Where are the hunters at? I need more hunters. Yeah, this hunter has to like stay alive. Get that guy off screen. Oh, shoot. Oh wait, stop it. I don't want him to die. No, oh, he still died. No. I think I just lose now. No, I, I did something wrong. I'm gonna restart. See, th see, this level is just so hard. I'm thinking maybe I don't put out as many fire pea shooters as I did. Like, maybe don't put two in one row. And maybe I should just focus damage on the top row somehow. I just don't- like, all these plants, I have no idea what they want me to do with them. Like, all these plants have very bizarre placements. Oh, you know what I'm thinking now? Is if spring beans are right behind the tiles, then maybe they'll launch the barrels, because they get... They always get, like, killed by the barrels. But if I do something like this... Okay, let's put you down. This might work. The dust lobbers, though, I still don't know what they want me to do with. Uh, see, I just don't know. Maybe dust lobber there. We'll spring, put a, a spring bing or two there. Like, where should I put the dust lobbers? You know, it has to be somewhere where they can't get killed, right? Oh, so here come the barrels. Oh, I misplaced that spring being a little bit. Oh, here's the- oh, the weasels are gonna totally get through, though. Is this Conehead gonna die? Or am I gonna have to spring bean him? This feels right. I mean, it's 
put a fire piece here in the top. We need more damage. Because we need like splash damage because they're all like congregating on that top row. Maybe I should put an another one there. I just don't know where to put the dust lobber. How does the spring beam react? Oh, it does like kind of move their barrels a little bit. Interesting. Yeah, okay, so that's where you're supposed to put the spring beans, I've now discovered. Maybe I put them in that column? Do they get broken that way? Or this like diagonal here? There you go, Hunter. Yeah, you're doing... You're doing all the good work for me. I need more ice blocks! Even more ice blocks! And as soon as that walnut's done, we, uh... Get rid of that. Okay, so now I understand how the spring wing is meant to be played. Maybe I should just start throwing these out, because uh, they're starting to fill up my space. I think I'm gonna hold off on putting that fire piece shooter down. I want more... I want more guys being frozen. This might be doable. away from the pile up a little bit and then do that. Okay, we only have a few ice blocks left. We have, two, we have three frozen plants right now. So I just need two more to get frozen. Oh, give me that Jimmy. Unfortunately, the hunters are not getting killed, which is nice. See, this is why I don't want to do double fire pea shooter. Flaming pea. Oh no, there's still another wave. Okay, we'll definitely be fine then. We have four left. Oh. So you up. You need... There's four... Yeah, okay. Okay, so now we put out down all the fire plants. So now we, uh... We have all the frozen plants that we need. Okay, we're good, we're good. Let's fast forward through the end of this, I think. So we're just gonna rely on the jalapeno to win us the game anyway. There we go, I think we did it. Oh man, I do not like that level. That was not a fun level. I just don't understand what was the point of the barrel zombies. That that just gimmick didn't seem like to fit with the whole thawing the ice block thing at all. Let's just go straight to the next level. Hopefully they don't ask me to do that again anytime soon. I mean... I mean, I didn't like... It wasn't my favorite level, but I still enjoy playing it. You know? Oh my gosh. So, what is this? What's with all the frozen zombies? Okay, 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 okay. Okay. This might be. Oh, hmm. I think we just gotta go with the old classic. 
Repeater, Torchwood, Fire P. Unfortunately, we have Gargantuar, so we can't. Yeah, we can't um rely on Spike Weed. Although Spike Weed's not very good in this level world anyway, because they just get frozen somehow. How does the ground get frozen? Uh, I'm thinking maybe like hot potato and then uh, jalapeno. I think that'd probably be good. I don't like how close some of them are though. I remember in the original game there was a level where like all the zombies were there, like frozen at the start. I don't think any of them came out on the right side. This level's kind of reminding me of that, so far at least. Right, let's put you down. I put you in the wrong lane, didn't I? So fortunately, we can use Hot Potato to kill some of these guys. Although, this guy's like walking past a bunch of tough dudes. I don't want to mess with just yet. Let's put the Torchwood down. Keep all of that from freezing. Yeah, as soon as this guy walks past the guy in the very front. I will kill him. Oh, I sh maybe I should have done the cone hit at two. All right, let's do that. And this guy's walking past the cone head, so let's melt him like that. Except he didn't die from that. Oh, oh are you kidding me, dude? Okay, th thankfully the hot potato does damage. Oh, I just realized if I stack the hot potatoes like this, then like all of them will die. And as soon as these two walk in front of this guy, I can melt him. And they should all have heavy damage on them. Except no. What have, what have I done? Okay, we're gonna have to jalapeno this. Let's melt this guy. And then Jalapeno the row. Oh, no, wait! Oh, Jalapeno gets rid of all the ice. Guys, like, in the ice, too. Interesting. Okay, so this guy, I'm gonna have to kill with a hot potato. I don't need a repeater, though. Now, this is quite an interesting start to a level. Buckethead, please stop. Bucketheads are just too much right now. It's not you, so we can kill you. Torchwoods are quite good at dealing with those guys. The weasels, I should say. Unfortunately, a lot of my sunflowers are now gone. a good time to use the jalapeno. Yeah, let's use it here. Yeah, the Gargantuar does appear to take damage. But... Right, my sunflowers just keep getting destroyed though, that's the problem. My sun production is like kind of stunted quite a bit. How is this guy not dead yet, dude? Can you cease and desist, Gargantuar? 
Come on, you have to be low, right? He's not dead yet! Okay, I, I guess I'll just have to let that top row go. Oh my gosh. I just don't have anything for the Gargantuars. I don't have enough damage going out into them. Oh, and there's still two more ways. I'm going to restart this right now, actually. Because this is not going so well. I may need another, like, insta-use plant. I'm not using the Fire Piece Shooter at all. Maybe I should be using it. Spring Bean doesn't seem like a bad idea either. I'm gonna actually let's swap out the Fire Pea Shooter for the Spring Bean. And I think I need to just be better with the hot potato usage. Yeah, let's start getting. Oh. Let's start getting this guy unthawed. You're a little too close there for comfort, pal. Yeah, so I think as soon as he walks past the cone head, I'll melt him. Yeah, let's do that there. Now, I think that that guy should be able to deal with the Conehead, no problem. Really want to put down that Sunflower, but I can't right now. So, Hot Potato kills the Conehead, right? So, let's just put that there. Yeah, so he gets replaced with a different Conehead. And then we'll do the same again right here. Put a hot potato right there. So that damages that buckhead buckhead quite a bit. And releases another one, but when these guys come up to this cone head. And you no, know, this 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 is a jalapeno moment. Get rid of that row. I don't know if the cherry bomb would do that as well. I feel like it would just be um the jalapeno because it has like that fire effect to it. Let's put spring bean down for this guy. Still have nothing for the middle row. There we go. Every lane is covered. I would say spring bean's doing his job quite well. I think we might need him again here in a moment. Yeah, get back. Fuck it, head. Start putting more reinforcements down on the bottom row. Now we got the Gargantuar unthawed. I'm losing my sunflowers, dude. Okay. So let's wait for this wave. And then we'll haul Pena the wave along with the Gargantuar. Oh, he's getting Spring Bean back too, though, which is nice. No, oh, not my sunflower. I need that. That might have been a bad hot potato moment. I really need more sunflowers. 
Come on, give me more sun. I need a jalapeno, like, right now. He's not dead! Excuse me, Gargantuar. Why aren't you dead? There we go. Oh my god, I was getting so worried there. They must have such high health. Let's put... Uh, let's wait for that buckhead to pass. So I wanna, I'll, I'll put another repeater there. And we'll put a torchwood out in front right there. Oh uh, yeah, we'll put more sunflowers in that row. Spring being for you, I think. Alright, that Gargantuar is free. I don't think that'll pull it very long. Might get the repeater then. Okay, he didn't, nice. Okay, almost everything is unthawed now. Oh, I hate these imps! Dude. So you stall this guy. Okay, nice. Now I have spring being back. Okay, we're almost to the second flag. Uh oh. The second row does not look good. I just can't regain control of the second row. Buckhead just refuses to die! I feel like this torchwood is really low, that's why I'm hovering over it like this. Okay, we're fine. Need more sunflowerage. I, just, I don't have enough sunflowers for this whole operation. Uh, spring being you. I'm so sick of the bucket heads. Yeah, I'm gonna jalapeno this row. Oh my gosh, like everything just keeps falling apart. I just can't get a foothold. The icy wind is not being very nice either. Okay, I think I'm pretty well prepared for this Gargantuar here. Although if I had a spring bean, that'd be nice too. Come on, give me a spring wing, please. Hurry. There we go. Nice. I think we're good on hot potatoes, I think. I only have three sunflowers, it's so pitiful, <laughs> and we're on the final wave. We're almost to the final wave. So if I can survive just a bit longer, we should be fine. No, Spring Bing, I wanted you to do the Gargantuar. Yeah, he's dead. Excellent. See, the torchwoods are just amazing at dealing with the weasels, but they keep getting eaten every two seconds!
Alright, final wave. We have a Halpinu up. I think we just win now. So we'll just like Halpinu one of the rows with the Gargantuars. Although let's wait a bit, because there's still some zombies that haven't appeared like on screen yet. Right, let's do this row. Bring you back. I wish I had sunflowers. Oh my gosh. I only have two right now. But we're almost to the end, it doesn't matter. Alright, let's fast forward through this a bit. Our Gantuar just needs to die. There we go. I mean, I like that better level better. And then we get the Stunion! Alright. Not a favorite of mine, but I'm sure it'll have its uses in the future. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna have to call the episode here. I know I only did two levels, but those two levels were kind of tough and long. And I think that'll, that'll free us... Uh, some time to do 5.9 and 5.10 next episode, which I think is what I'm going to do. And then we can start on the next world on the episode after that. Alright, so anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed. Next time we will be finishing Frostbite Caves. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you later. Bye!